Hi, I'm Matt Piper. I'm the Propeller Head Product Specialist for Line 6. And this is the second in our series of videos on recording a song. Uh, we're taking you step by step. Uh, in the previous video, I showed you how to get set up. And in this video, we're going to record some guitar and some bass. So I've got the bass already plugged in directly to the audio interface. And I'm going to create an audio track. All right. And then I want to process this audio track uh, so that it sounds like I'm playing through a bass amp. So I'm going to create a line six bass amp. And here it is. I can see I'm getting signal into the computer. And I can check my tuning. I'm going to dial in a tone that I like. I like this bottom thing. I'm going to turn up the high mid a little bit. Turn up the volume a little bit. Just a personal preference. going to turn down the threshold on the compressor. It actually makes the compression stronger. And I've got it set so that I'll have an 8-beat count in. And I'm just going to see if I can record this. Okay, I'm just going to drag the edge of this bass clip in so that it's an even eight bars. And then I'm going to copy and paste this bass part a few times so that I can play along with it when I'm recording my guitar parts. I have here Line 6's top of the line DT50 amplifier. And the first thing I need to do is figure out where the speaker is exactly because I can't see it. So I've got a flashlight here, and I'm just going to hold it up right to the grill cloth. And there I can see the edge of the speaker. And I go in and I can see the center of the cone. So I know where I'm at now. So I'm just going to move the microphone here right up to the grill cloth. And you can use your ears if you like, you know, listen through headphones, you know, play a little bit, move the mic into different places. Um, if you move it towards the center of the cone, like right on the center, it's going to be a brighter sound. And as you go out to the edge, it's going to be a, a little bit darker sound and maybe even a little darker if you're off axis. But I'm straight on and I'm going to be pretty close to the edge here. Um, that's just sort of a habit for me, but uh, it's not necessarily the, the best way, but it's, uh, I'm sure we'll get uh, a great sound. Okay, now I'm going to record a guitar track, so I'm going to create a new audio track. That'll do it. In the next video, we'll be programming some drums and percussion parts.